Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're back in the world of AI. This is Emergent Drums 2. We've worked with the guys at Audio Lab, checking out Emergent Drums before, an AI generative, excuse me, sample generative drum machine. They've taken a lot of feedback from the first version and have updated it to version two. So we're following up with some of these updates. Let's dive into the DAW and talk AI drums. Okay, so here we are inside of the session, and I'm just going to move this down here real quick. And this is Emergent Drums 2. It looks very similar to Emergent Drums, the original. And if you haven't watched that, there's going to be a link down in the description and in the corner right now where you can click over and check that out. But it's very similar, but they've updated a lot of things. Most importantly, most importantly, one of the first things is in the first version, you had two different styles of samples. But when you switched between cream or crunchy, it didn't always do exactly what it needed to do. It did, but the sounds didn't sound enough like the thing you were trying to make it. So they've gone in and reworked everything. So now when you're working your samples and you're adjusting whatever is in your pattern or your pads on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to take the D sharp two, this symbol up here as our example. If I want this pad to be a completely different type of instrument, I come to this drop-down menu and it can be random, a kick sound, a clap sound, etc. Etc. You can see all of the different kinds of sounds that you're going to tell the AI, I need this kind of sound. Okay, so maybe we'll go with not a cymbal, we'll do some kind of percussion. Okay, so now it's immediately generating a brand new sample. And we can adjust the sample and what we hear from it just by using these sliders. This is the timing. So if we play the sample right now, Okay, I like the knock at the beginning. That's kind of cool, but I don't need the whoosh at the end. Nobody needs that. So I'm just going to kind of shorten it down. And I'm guessing right now. So this should be about right. There, I just need that little kind of percussive bang sound. Totally cool. But this is a creamy kind of sound. Now that we're in percussion, we can change this to crunchy. It'll generate a new sample. And now take a listen. Don't like that sample? Cool, let's generate a new one by going down underneath and hit generate. Creates a whole new sample. Maybe this is close, but you don't wanna generate a completely different sample. Take the variant slider here and bring it closer to similar. I'm gonna go with mm, about here and generate a new sample from here. Too snare drummy, give me another one. Again, we're too similar, so I'm gonna increase this to kind of randomize it and get it a little further away. A little shorter, a little tighter. I kind of like that. And then we can go to the right side, affect its attack time, its release time, its clipping dB, the frequency filter range, the loudness of it. Do we want it panned? Do you wanna bring the pitch of the sample up or down so make it flatter or sharper? All things we were able to do in Emergent Drums version one, now in version two, it's just more refined and more better refined. Just like in the original version, come up to the top here and regenerate the entire sample in all of the pads. It's going to just do everything and completely regenerate absolutely everything. This button here allows you to drag all of the generative samples out and then you can just put them onto different tracks this way and then build your own kit and your own pattern with your whatever you need to do, your controllers, and you can build your kit that way. Maybe you use Emergent Drums to create the samples, but you trigger them yourself. Or you don't need all of them, you just need the one sample. You have a really awesome kick sample, maybe. You come up to the top right here, and you just get that one sample. Ignore this part on bottom, but we'll just throw the one kick sample into our session up here. And there's even more with Emergent Drums too. We have different kits in here. We have ED1, ED2, and some of the originals from the first version. But now we have different kinds of sound sets and different parameters within the AI within these different kits to get different kinds of sounds. So we've expanded the samples that we can generate right here. And then for those who wanna work in maybe some bigger real estate, or be able to do these things and not have to go one at a time. Emergent Drums has got your back. If you click on Emergent Drums over here, you get the menu, and then you can change your view mode from compact, that's the default, this is what we saw in the original, to large mode. And now, after we move this, 
we can see all of the different waveforms for all of our different samples and all of our pads and adjust all of them in one window now. And if all of our usual controls are still here, except now we have all of our samples laid out in front of us and everything's just been smushed down to fit into the different pads. So here's generate a new sample here, make it lower, make it sharper, left, right. Here's your attack release, what your node is. Do you want to reposition the pad? Do you want to change the style from creamy to crunchy? You understand. But now you can see everything. And if I hit play on this extraordinarily simple beat that I put together, you'll see all of the different pads triggered when they need to. So let's go ahead and hit play, listen to Immersion Drums, let it kind of loop around a couple times, and then what we'll do is, as it's looping around, we'll just generate new samples and see what this thing can do. So there you go, as you're clicking through a few different times and using the different kits in the top right, just varying all the different sounds. Now, just something to start getting inspired or maybe creating just some kind of lo-fi thing in the, for some background of something. But Emergent Drums and the AI-powered sample generator allows us to kind of refine these things and get them without thinking of what's the right sample, let me just go through. And you guys saw, as it was looping, I was generating new samples. I was like, mm, I don't like that. Let me add this one in. Cool, I have a blend of two different snares, a creamy snare and a crunch snare to get some snap and some length out of the snare. The kicks, they're doing a very similar kind of thing. I hated some hi-hats at, at one point. So we're switching things around, changing things and seeing if it works or if it doesn't. And if you like something, and maybe you want to go back, you can just pull the sample out and reuse it later. And maybe that is your kick sample. You have lots of different options. So there you go. That is Emergent Drums 2. If you want to pick up your own copy, use the link down in the description. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. Do you want to talk AI? And I like talking AI. I use it a lot jump in the Discord. We can actually create a channel over there and talk as much AI, whether for music production or just in general as you want. 
Are you working on something and you need to offload some of that? I'd love to work with you and help you out. Let's get that started at timplansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.